All right, so guys, and this uh, home flipping adventure that we're doing, you know, we just looked at a house that we're under contract to buy. Our team put it under contract virtually through pictures and whatnot. But you know, before we pull the trigger on spending 150 grand, we want to make sure that it's legit. So rather than send somebody up here, we thought we'd do it ourselves and incorporate a home flipping adventure so you can see what we do. And so we're all masked up and gloved up, ready to rock and roll. We were walking through that house assessing as you can, it's probably tough to hear us in there, but we, tell them where we're assessing. Yeah, you know, one, do the aesthetics work? Is the floor plan workable? You know, can we can we do something with that? Is it gonna be appealing to an end buyer? Are the bones good? That house was so interesting because it still had the original timbers that it was built with down yeah. in the basement. Here we go. This is our new way of looking at houses. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go do our thing. Any dogs or anything, cats or no. nothing? Okay. No problem, great. All right, thanks, Steve. So, but that's just storage. Corona, right? here we are. We're looking. We're just taking a quick look around the house that we're under contract for. It's an interesting countertop. It's actually, it's real wood, yeah. It's kind of cool. Uh, really? It wouldn't be, that's a no go for you? Look, they put teak in the bottom. I, I can't, this is interesting. You got this uber modern shower head with this rustic feel. Do you know one, one of our students put that I in? I know, because yep. they got a good discount on it. Yes. So I think we're a bedroom here, right? Our camera guy sounds like Darth Vader. <laughs> I have my nose. All right, so what do we have here? Like a pantry or some kind of closet. They're ready for the apocalypse. Well, we may be, we may be here. <laughs> it might be the apocalypse. <laughs> Let's talk about this while we're here. What are we gonna do with this? Obviously we have to redo it. Yeah. But can we? So right, so you, you know, it's the, it's the old Saratoga house that is... So square footage wise, yes. I, this is big enough to make a kitchen out of. There's no dining room, right? And then we have another step down over there, kind of like a little mudroom area. So this goes it's not out really to a the... not separate mudroom, but... This goes out to the side here. So that's the driveway goes back to there. So this structure was built, we just talked to the owner back in 1800, 18... 1871. 1871, that would explain the... <laughs> the character, we're gonna call it. Well, honestly, yes. Yeah. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel shaky, it's just, it just really settled. So now you look over here, there's probably some old asbestos, little tiny bits here and there, but as the owner, we can do some things ourselves. So Neil said we can get, we can get clever with that. Right. We can get a permit in his name, so we can figure some things out to do this. Okay. So, do you have room to do what you have to do in here? Yes. Yeah, there's square footage wise, I can make this work. Floor is gonna be a little, not level, but do you somehow self-level? This is, this is probably not, if it's wood or not, well, I right? mean, we can't go too much up over here because we have, you know, lower uh, ceilings. True. Yeah, right, So we yeah. have to be careful of that. But I can do, I can, in, like in, from here forward, I can do a U-shaped kitchen and get all my appliances I need in. Put the put the sink under the window, refrigerator. Yeah, so, I, I've got enough. So room as to make I look around work. here, you know, windows are are new. The doors are new. Okay. You know, it it it, it would probably benefit us to raise this floor. Uh, you're gonna lose. Make, I know, but make this like a little dining area, like an eating kitchen. Well, maybe when everything's out of here, it will look better too. Yeah. Maybe you can raise just a, something, a section of it, or get clever with that. Oh, look at this little nook. That is the smallest sink I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. That's my hand in the sink. <laughs> Give some perspective. There, there's a nice uh, pipe, but it's decorated. You know, they, they did a nice... Uh, Leopard print. Leopard print along with the floral Asian print on the wall. And a lot of privacy with curtains. So here's bedroom one. Decent, Decent size. Decent size. Decent closet. Need some closet doors. Just need some sheetrock repair. Bedroom number two. Was there, there was a bedroom downstairs. It's small, but it's full of stuff, but yes. Oh, big closet. Roof is definitely older. Again, not horrible. No. If we were doing an Airbnb, we could get away with it. Let me look at something. That's the back side of that. Hmm. Of what? The bathroom? Yeah. Hmm. 
You could steal some room out of that closet. To put a shower in? Yeah. If you want to have a... Now, let me ask you. Do you change doors in a house no, like this? No, not in this one. These are character. Change, we'll change the doorknobs, but the doors, I think we can just paint. These floors are pine. But they could look... They could look well, they're not in the bedrooms, are they? Well, if they are, they're underneath. Yeah. I'm sure they are. They're just underneath that. I don't know if that's pine or not. They're kind of pieced together. All right. So look at the basement. Boy, that's an old field stone. Foundation. That's an old field stone foundation. Yeah, look, at the, look, <laughs> look at the sump pump. There's a lot of water in that bad boy. Oh, wow. But, the, but it's dry. Yeah. It's doing its job. Look at the, look at the, <laughs> look at the foundations. Look at, or look at the framework. Or look at this. Oh, These yeah. are actual timbers. This is actual timber. We've done a few houses like that. Yep. Over 100 years old, probably. Well, yeah, 18, and still, 1871. And still holding strong. You gotta like that. So that over there is just a crawl space where that kitchen is. Right. So there's the sink right there. And the sink would need to be moved. You're gonna be, you're gonna be hard pressed to do that. Well, then we need to go back up and look at that. Cause okay. Uh, well, if you do, you have to run the, you have to run the drain through the cabinets. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you can't, you won't be able to. Just, we'll put it in the back of it. You'll have to look at that. So the electrical panel seems to be in good shape. Where was laundry? In the kitchen. Okay. So I need to relook at the kitchen because I got to make sure that there's room for appliances plus washer and dryer. Although that pantry right behind the kitchen might be a good laundry room. Yep. You need to put a smaller unit or something like that. Look at this thing. Oh, these timbers Ow. are amazing. I just whacked my head on the light. I want to go right back over here. I want to see the, I want to see the, the furnace. All right, so Well McLean. A little older, but it's probably Gas fired. All right, let's take a look at the heat source again. Okay. You're, you're almost gonna have to do some kind of a, almost keep the fridge where it is, right? And sort of do a U. Yeah, I can do a U. Can you keep the sink on this wall here? I could, it'd be better if it was under the window. All your plumbing is there. So, like it'd be. If you could use that room behind you, you've already got the. You've already got the plumbing right there to just put through. Yeah, there there might be enough room in there for that. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how deep those shelves are. They're only about well, a foot deep. They're about a foot. I mean, with the shelves gone, you have enough room. It'd be it'd be. It'd be tight. So you know, the wash and dryer are gonna stick out to here. That only leaves you about a foot and a half to stand in there. What about? Unless, yeah, unless you do a stackable over there. Stack them on the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you do that, in theory, you can get the plumbing over here, but you've got to figure that piece out. That's going to be the challenge. It's not a deal killer to me to have to put the sink right here instead of right here. Mm -hmm. It just functionality wise, it would be better over here because so, that way I could use that for more again, cabinets. You can, but you have to run the drain. The drain can't just go because there's no, we don't have any access here. So the drain's no, going to have to go. I understand through the cabinetry, which is not ideal. Yeah. But again. It, it would have to go through like two cabinets, maybe three. And it would shoot out the corner. Right. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have to make a turn and then right. go this way, I don't think. I think it would just, it could shoot out and catch the, the right. septic or sewer, whatever we have here. And then I would probably put the fridge over there actually. You would? Would you get rid of that pantry thing or no? Oh well, yeah. I mean, it's not ideal to have so the refrigerator. So you don't actually need that stove there. Right. So it's not ideal to have the fridge right by the stove because there's no countertop by the stove. You, okay. need counter you should have countertop on both sides of the stove. Well, we've got, we can design. Yeah, there's, a, there's enough room here. That's, that's what I need to, to know. There's enough room here. Pretty much a lot of cosmetic. That's a good sign. That sure is. Yeah, sure is. So 
So if you ever come to our office, you'll notice that um, my dad used to build cardinals. That was his thing. He built these old wood, wooden cardinals. Wooden cardinals. He put a dowel in them so people could put them in their gardens. He, he gave said, Glenny, to... Glenny, put this in your yard. I put it right in my office in the front yard. So every time I see a cardinal, that's always good luck. Yep. So that's pretty. That's that's a good sign in this house for sure. Let's uh, let's go down the road and check out the house we did uh, 10, 11 years ago. The house right behind us here, so this, this house right here, we actually renovated that house um, in 2008 eight, or, eight or nine. nine. Yeah. So we're going back uh, 11 years, 11 or 12 years, yeah. pro probably 2009, I'm guessing. So we actually talk about that at our live workshops. I show a picture of the before and after. It's very dramatic. And he remembers it being what it was before, but that was over, that was 11 years ago, close to 700 houses ago. Yeah. It, was mm -hmm. like, it was like the fifth house we ever did. Yeah. Um, and so, and this is the first time we ever did a, a place up in Saratoga. And so here we are on the road, just a few houses down. So we know this market well, right? Because we this was a good luck charm for us uh, many years ago. So one thing we look at is what's the exit strategy going to be? And by the way, that house wasn't perfect either. There were some floors no, it was not old. crooked, older. That house was built, this house we're buying was built in the, in the, in the late 1800s. So this actually is the older side of Saratoga. Uh, this is back where, when the horse race were first out here. So a lot of your trainers lived over here and that kind of stuff. That's what I understood. Right. Um, and uh, and the servants and that kind of stuff. So it's yeah, the mansions are on the other side. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is where the poor folk lived, right? So it's not now. It's not that way at all. No, we're like two streets away from downtown Saratoga. This is a very desirable area. I yeah. mean, you could literally walk there within a matter of five minutes. It's. The funny part is for that house, even though if you look at that house, now if you looked at that house in a different area, this is what's so important to learn about what you're gonna learn today, is that in a different area, that house would be considered kind of run down. Mm -hmm. In this area, because the area, right, they say location, 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 because the area is so great, it doesn't matter that there's a lot of character flaws, right. and that the floor is a little bit crooked, and that the walls are a little bit shifted, and that there's timbers for the um, framework. People will overlook all that just for the chance to live in Saratoga. Right. So this is a big this is a big deal. So realistically, that house is mostly cosmetic. So the roofs and really in, it's a it's a tin roof, rusted. Ah, sorry, I had to say that whenever <laughs> I say tin roof I'm from the '80s. But there's a tin roof on it, and it's got a nice yard. It's got a big driveway. It really has a lot of potential. This house this house we sold for two hundred and thirty something thousand eleven, 11 years, years ago. ago. So we know, and that was a smaller house. That's uh, a, no, we was, added a half bath downstairs. So it was a three bedroom, one and a half that's bath. That's a very similar size though. That's what I meant, very similar. Cause I can't ever get one thing right on a home living adventure. It's always Bamber let me know what I did wrong publicly, which she likes to do. But, but this house did have a, a much smaller yard and it landlocked another house. So yes. this house had some challenges that this one doesn't. Right. This one has a nice big driveway. A lot of positives. Nice yard, yeah. So, so we're gonna go into contract for 150. We'll, we'll probably have to put no more than 40 into it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think yeah. it's gonna be a whole lot more than that. Yeah, more. I less. think it's worth close to 300 when we're done. I think it's right up there in the high twos probably. And the cool part is, is that we can easily turn that into an Airbnb in mm -hmm. a very prestigious location. And people will come here and during track season, that house will rent for big dollars all by itself. And it's a great little street right here. Uh, the college is right down the end of the road. And I mean, it doesn't get much better than this when you have a deal that comes in. So we're, we're excited about this. The gentleman lost his father. That was too bad. I lost my dad two years ago too, as, you, as I told you before. So I think we had that little connection and uh, we'll, we'll make his dad proud. We'll make the house look great. So pretty awesome. All right. I guess that's it for this, this uh, Yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this will be good. So, all right. On to the next home flipping adventure. See you in the next one.